What it do YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Borderlands 3. So this is really, really exciting. I'm excited about this based on the fact that we've had a lot of looter shooters come out. Well, okay, I guess a lot is an exaggeration. We've had two new looter shooters come out this year and they've been somewhat disappointing. And I don't, it's not that I'm bashing those games. I actually enjoy those games and I'm going to continue making content on those games. So if you guys enjoy Anthem content and or um the division 2 content make sure you guys are clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my videos but we're gonna be talking about borderlands today and now this game is going to be insane and there's i, I have a list of reasons why i think that this game is going to be awesome and this is kind of more of like a discussion video and talking to you guys about it and things like that but tons of excitement tons of guns tons of just fun times ahead and i can't wait to start you know giving you guys more and more information as i get it and things like that based on borderlands 3 now one of the first things that i think is going to be cool about borderlands 3 is the simple uh and this is going on previous borderlands games you know i i really feel like they wouldn't really try to change up a lot of what they've done considering they have one of the best formulas that i've seen for looter shooters in the you know the most recent ones that i've played so i think that they have a more simple rpg like skill system and it's like everything is super already laid out for you and you could kind of you know go with it now a lot of people like to min max and things like that that's not something you can necessarily do inside of this game but it's very fun for you to just kind of like see that there's genuinely or generally three builds that you can kind of go with and you guys can kind of experiment with and have fun and then the respec doesn't cost like all of the game currency like you can kind of respec and do something different and have fun with it and i think that's one of the cooler things is that there's never something about your character that you're not going to be able to experience or that you know you're not going to want to run with uh so I'm, it's going to be very fun to try out each and every vault hunters build and each and every vault hunters like all of their skills and their abilities and stuff like that um so far we've got a little bit of information i'll make a different video on that for you guys so i can kind of explain what they do and things like that uh for you guys i think there's one character that's kind of like a beast master which you know can control the animals around the world and things like that so that's that's pretty interesting and very very creative and that's something that you always get with the people over there at gearbox when they uh come out with different borderlands games now uh, kind of touching on that a little bit more is the vibrant worlds that they kind of create and the idea that you know every world has almost limitless possibilities you, you can go from one area where they have crazy beasts and then you can go to another area that's completely you know swarmed with robots and things like that so everything is always changing inside of borderlands you know no matter what planet you're on i think we're going to be on a different planet uh you know because there's multiple vaults you know they they released that or they they shared that information from the first game so there's multiple planets with vaults and things like that so we'll be playing on a new planet i think presumably we would be playing on a new planet but i'll get you guys more information on that as the you know we get closer and closer to the release of the game but um yeah i definitely feel like there's a potential for especially on next gen for there to be not only one planet but like multiple planets that we adventure on throughout the expansions and things like that now third thing and this is going to be somewhat controversial to some of the people that uh you know might either watch my channel or things like that you know there's no pvp now there's always that that thing where it's just like well hold on let me elaborate on that because there's it's limited pvp now usually you can either play with people you match make with you know you can go into the arena or you can challenge them to duel you or you know you can do it with your friends and things like that so it's not that there's no pvp entirely it's just it's like super limited and contained and things like that there's no team deathmatch there's no and there's none of that so you don't have a reason for there to be a meta or for them to nerf things so i guess if something is broken to the way to the extent that they didn't realize it that could be nerfed but for the most part they're not going to have to nerf anything and every gun that you get is going to be super fun and unique especially the you know the higher tier ones you know the epic the legendary type of weapons all of those weapons are going to be super unique and uh that's kind of what i wanted to talk into so coming off of the no pvp thing which is somewhat exciting for me because i feel like i've been failed on pvp on quite a bit lately because like i said every pvp game that you play gets nerfs and things like that and i guess that's something that you're supposed to expect when playing pvp but it kind of gets old so you know um it, it, the way they do their pvp is a nice system that kind of just 
you know, you when you when you challenge somebody, you either know that you're gonna get your ass whipped, or you know that it's gonna be a fun experience. It's not something that you have to really think about. It's not something that you have to force with or put yourself through to grind out levels. I think no PVP in this game or limited PVP is probably the one of the cooler things about it. We move on to the uh, more to elaborate more on the gear in this game uh you know it's a different type of rpg and i don't have to stress like i said because the build the, your build is based on your skills you don't have to worry about your armor or things like that you know you don't have to worry about finding the right uh you know a gauntlet piece or you know leg pieces or things like that you know most of the general like loadouts and stuff like that come from your gear and your shield what your gear your shield your grenades do all that type of stuff is how you kind of you know change yourself and customize yourself in this game when it comes to your weaponry and things like that so you know they have the liberty of doing crazy things like shotguns that shoot you know that not only go straight but they shoot left and right too they, sh they shoot from all angles and like assault rifles that shoot you know rockets you know they have that ability to be as imaginative as they want to with all their guns because that's where the meat and potatoes comes from you literally they advertise it in every single one of their trailers you know uh billions of guns gazillions of guns like all of that type of thing they kind they consistently do you know and with that we have the last thing that i think is one of the biggest things that we don't get from a lot of looter shooters you know be it you know uh, anthem or the division you know we don't get a lot of good stories now not it's not that the stories themselves are bad it's that the characters lack a lot of personality they they you never forget or you, you, you always have the opportunity to forget. And that's what Borderlands doesn't let you do. It doesn't let you forget its characters. Its characters come with larger than life personalities. They, they, they zoom in on the bosses. Even the bosses are like certain types of ways, you know. Uh, you know, and they uh, they make sure that you remember these, these people. That you're having a good time remembering, you know um any of the characters from the game you know one ones that pop into my head are like moxie and stuff like that but we're not gonna talk about all that but anyways you remember these characters and that's one something that i i can't wait to have an experience i think i've failed that recently you know and a lot of games have somewhat disappointed me on that recently where i haven't had an experience like i had back in the day when i was playing video games like this where it was like oh hey you know this is that character i'm going to remember you know or that this moment itself was one of my favorite times in video games you know what i mean so i've not had that of late and i'm hoping that with borderlands 3 it kind of revives that you know that feeling that oh man i'm gonna remember this for a long time and you know when you're talking to your friends or something about it later on uh be it down the line a year or two years from now you you're, you you go back and you say oh you remember that moment in borderlands 3 you know you don't get that from the division you don't get that from anthem you don't get that from the other looter shooters on the market so i'm hoping that borderlands 3 really raises the bar again and sets the standard for what looter shooters should be and going forward we can kind of set that milestone because it, you know borderlands was the og looter shooter as far as i'm i, I can imagine I, i'm pretty sure it was the only one you know with you know droppable loot and stuff like that and that's another thing tons and tons of loot ah oh, i'm just so excited but i'm not gonna keep rambling on guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys are as excited about borderlands 3 as i am and like i said tons of more borderlands 3 content explaining to you guys what's gonna be happening the different vault hunters all that type of stuff coming to you guys in a new video uh or in new videos uh as we get closer to borderlands 3 and with that being said, guys, I hope you guys have a nice, wonderful rest of your day, and I'm out of here. Peace.